Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Elena Shakhova. I am from St. Petersburg, uh, Russia, and I'm chair of uh, Human Rights and Governmental Human Rights Organization, Citizens Watch. Uh, we were established in 1992, so we are a very old uh, organization, and, and our main priority is assistance to the judicial reform. A lot of problems. Court proceedings uh, are not transparent uh, to ordinary people. Um, victims of crime do not have a right to free legal assistance. Um, the court proceedings takes a lot of time, um, and. Uh, uh, Prosecutor, police officers, prosecutor, and judge uh, are members of one uh, of one agency, um, and they protect interests of this agency. And it's very difficult to protect uh, for citizens to protect uh, their rights uh, when on the other side the governmental body. We work mainly with uh, professional uh, groups like judges, uh, prosecutors, police officers to get them acquainted with the international standards on human rights. We are uh, working out uh, recommendations and uh, we also organize uh, some study visits to the European Court uh, for judges, for example. Uh, we um, also to uh, organize discussions about different uh, uh, problems with implementation of legislation. We also provide free legal assistance for ordinary citizens uh, and um, conducting monitoring of uh, court buildings, um, court proceedings and police um, stations. Recently, uh, we uh, finished the, pro the project on uh, investigating of race hate crimes. Uh, there is no special uh, legislation on race hate crime in uh, Russian um, criminal code, uh, and uh, it's always very difficult for police to investigate uh, hate crimes and they do not even know how to, to do it. And we collected uh, European uh, experience and also uh, US experience uh, in this field, uh, translated it uh, into Russian, present it to the police, and we discussed together with police and uh, judges uh, uh, these materials and how we can implement it in Russia. Uh, yeah, uh, recently in the end of December we were registered as a foreign agent and now we should uh, make a lot of reports uh, and the uh, Ministry of Justice uh, applied uh, to the court against Citizens Watch, my organization. Um, so we are uh, we have a lot of court court hearings now and trying to uh, protect our uh, rights. Uh, but as a foreign agent, uh, uh, we have difficulties now with uh, collaborating with governmental officials because uh, there is. Uh, kind of uh, non-written order, not for governmental officers, not to uh, cooperate with um, with human rights NGOs, uh, which were listed as uh, foreign agents. Uh, so it's quite uh, a difficult time for us now. 
they do not cooperate with us uh, uh, in the frames of official cooperation, but they still cooperate with us uh, through uh, personal uh, links and contacts. And um, uh, we work as the owner in a non-official way. But we, you know, we try to address more to the society, to educate uh, young human rights activists on how to monitor police and courts. So this uh, is a, a change in our uh, in our activities uh, since we were uh, uh, we were link, uh, uh, registered as a foreign agent. So. I'm an economist, so I uh, graduated from the university as an economist. And today I realized that uh, when uh, there is no protection of property, and when court is not independent, there is no uh, uh, way for, for economical growth. Uh, that's why we should... Uh, I personally uh, should work in in the field of human rights uh, to protect uh, human rights of Russian people uh, to make this human rights uh, as a uh, main uh, priority of. Uh, uh, Russian government, and uh, only after when it will become an everyday practice, I mean, uh, mm, protection of human rights and uh, civil dignity, then uh, we can think about uh, economical growth, but uh, only, uh, only when uh, there will be here, I mean, in Russia, there will be a rule of law and uh, basic principles. No, I think it's a long way. Uh, in Russia now, uh, so we, we uh, had a kind of a good period uh, in the end of 90s and in the very beginning of uh, 2000. Uh, but uh, since 2006, uh everything i mean soviet traditions uh, returns too quickly and uh, now we have a uh, very bad situation with uh, uh, fundamental rights and freedoms and with uh, right to a fair trial also uh, i th think that we should continue our work uh, I know that uh, today in Russia uh, we see uh, a kind of return to the to the Soviet past, but everything uh, everything will change, uh, and we can uh, can make these changes uh, go faster. So that's I think I should not uh, stop our work and human rights defenders in Russia who are in great risk, really, um, and are, are under the great pressure, uh, should not stop.